Hi, and welcome to Three Questions With. I got my friend Sal with us from Fully Promoted of Southern New Hampshire. Sal, good morning, and thank you for joining the show. Good morning, Kevin. Thanks for having me. So, Sal, I want to go in two directions today. It's getting cold out, bud. And we're going to have to start switching off of those T-shirts. Can you help people pick appropriate fall wear, whether that's hoodies, sweatshirts, jackets for their business? Oh, absolutely. You know, we've got hundreds of different styles of um, T-shirts, hoodies, jackets. Um, we've got a showroom here in our Bedford location where people can come in and touch and feel different products. Um, and the great thing is we can get their logo on those products. So they're out advertising their business. I really like that because, you know, I worked in a company and when we bought stuff, we made the first time we made a mistake and we bought based on price sale. And we got those shirts and everyone's like, are you serious? You know, you, it was honestly where it wants as soon as you wash it, it was going to just be no good anymore. And we're like, oh, you know, we thought we would, you know, being helpful, giving our employees, you know, clothing to wear. And it totally backfired because we just didn't understand the quality of the product. You can help people from making that silly mistake. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Again, that's that's why we have a, have a showroom with with samples here. Um, and, and, you know, there are going to be clients that might be just starting up um, that need to be cost conscious. So, you know, we, we've got what we classify good, better and best as far as different uh, apparel. Yep. So that's helpful. Sal, hate to bring this up, but it's holiday season pretty soon, buddy. Oh, I know. I know. It'll be it'll be snowing before we know it. So I want to talk a little bit about that and um, in two directions. First, let's talk about employees. Um, I, I was telling you before the show, I went up to Maine this weekend mm -hmm. and I used a cooler from a company that I worked with 20 years ago. You know, I, every time I use it, I look down and I'm like, this is the best gift ever. I also use a backpack that a friend gave me like 15 years ago. And, you know, I, I'm not in the industry anymore, but I text them every year a picture of it and go, still love this backpack. Just wanted to say hi and thank you. It's really important when we're thinking about gifts to make sure we are sending the right image to our employees and make them feel valued, right? Oh, yeah. When we talk about holiday gifting, you know, people will think about gifting to their clients, but also holiday gifting to your employees. Um, you can't go anywhere right now where you're not seeing a help wanted sign in businesses. And every business owner or manager that I talk to, um, they're all looking for employees. Um, so in this day and age, you know, one of the best things you can do for your own business is help retain your employees and, and little gifts like that go a long way. Um, when employees feel appreciated and valued, they're going to stay. And Sal, it's also understanding your employees, because I made this mistake in life, too, where I'm 57. I wasn't quite that old back then, obviously, but you know, I picked a gift that was good for people my age. But I had a lot of younger employees, and they're like, OK, this would be great if I was 20 years older. Yeah, so, you got another demographic. And yeah, yep, absolutely. And, and, and like you said, after I did, it, I was like, oh. You know, I'm like, this is an amazing gift. They're like, yeah, for people your age, Kev, but, you know, it, but thanks. We'll give it to, we'll give it to our mom and dad. And that was like the running joke. But again, we joke about it a little bit, but I've been at, at holiday parties for my employee when I was working in the bank, credit unions. And sometimes those gifts just didn't go over the way we'd hoped. And it changes the party. You're like, oh, that's what they got us. You know, they were hoping for something nice. So you do have to put a little more thought into it. And again, within your own budgets, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And again, we have access to almost a million different pieces of promotional products and apparel. Amazing. So we can fit almost any need and any budget. And then let's flip it over to our clients. Mm -hmm. we show us sending the right image. You know? Oh, absolutely. I mean, yeah. client retention is just as important as a, uh, employee retention. And a lot of times it's, you know, um, it's making sure you're sending something appropriate and, and maybe, you know, don't put your logo on it, you know, type of thing where, you know, I've had people get gifts and it's like, yeah, but, you know, Kev said this to me, but it, it's basic advertising Kev's business, you know, so sometimes maybe people, you know, want to think about that, you know, mm -hmm. and make sure, you know, um, I, I was involved in a business and what they did is they looked at, you know, different tiers. Okay, you know, Sal's spending a million dollars a year with us. We want to send Sal something really, really nice. You know, they kind of thought a little bit about that. It's making sure you're, you're doing, it's 
you're putting some thought behind the gift and to show that client you value them, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, if you've got what, what I'll classify as like your platinum customers, you know, you want to make sure you're giving them something nice. Um, yeah. And, you know, even going down to you know, someone that might be spending a, a couple of thousand dollars a year with you. Um, one of the things that we've done ever since we've been in business is um, I'll send a thank you note. Um, you know, even stuff, little stuff like that goes a long way. I have to agree with you on that, Sal. You know, I think back to my banking days. If anyone sent me a card, I put it on my desk. I stood up on my desk. Everyone that walked in my office go, who's saying that card? So now, you know, everyone's seeing that Sal's a great guy and he sent me a card. I, I'm, I'm a big card person because nobody does it anymore. Very few people are doing. So if you take the time to handwrite me a card, I'm like, okay, Sal put effort into taking the time to, to talk to me. Mm-hmm. That's how that's how was how I feel about it. Like I said, it's just it's a nice gesture and stuff. So now, but again, if someone's confused of well, well, you know, what's appropriate, you know, what should I send? You can kind of guide them through that gift giving process. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, and, and again, we've got gifts for different budgets, different size companies, um, different business segments and what 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 an industry, you know, different industries. So yeah, makes perfect sense and stuff. So what's the best way for people to reach out to you? How can they learn more? Um, they can go to our website, um, fullypromotedsnh.com. Uh, call our store, 603-647-9994. Or even if they just use the uh, hashtag, just call Sal, uh, that, that will pull up our website and other uh, you know, ways to contact us. That is, that is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, Sal. I appreciate you taking time to come on the show. And as always, thanks for being my friend. Thanks, Kevin.